All right, lads, what is the crack? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for all the love in the last couple of videos. In this one, I'm gonna let the tunes play out a little bit, and I'm gonna give you one tip on each of these movements. With this dumbbell snatch, again, it is all about developing power. One of the biggest mistakes people make is doing a C motion with their arms so they keep their elbow locked out. Notice here my elbow bends as I'm lifting the weight. So I keep the dumbbell really close to my body. With my single leg balance work, I can do a whole pile of different things to make it more difficult or to bring in a bit of skills work. I can introduce this unstable surface to make it more challenging, or I can introduce a ball and do a sport specific drill like a hand pass. With the walking lunges, I'm not using my weightlifting shoes because I'm trying to challenge my balance. But if you find your balance is quite challenged, definitely wear a pair of shoes and weightlifting shoes will make you feel a lot steadier. This is my hip thrust and I am pretty good at hip thrusts. I'm supersetting these with sissy squats. The hip thrust will really work the posterior chain, glutes and hamstrings, and the sissy squat then really focuses on the quads. So they're a nice pairing to put together. With the sissy squat, make sure that you put as much tension as possible on those bands. And adding weight will make it more challenging as you go through the movement, not at the top. The bands make it challenging at the top, the weight makes it challenging from the bottom up. Start off light with this lateral lunge. Particularly if you're using a barbell, it is very challenging on the core. With this single leg RDL, I am wearing my weightlifting shoes and it's giving me a bit more stability. This really challenges balance, so again, if you're finding it difficult, go with a regular RDL or go with a lighter weight. With the ankle E version and inversion, make sure that you're keeping the leg steady. All the movement happens around the ankle joint, not around the hip. So keep the knee as steady as possible. I'm using the bench here with the single leg squats. so that my opposite leg, or my resting leg, can just hang beside me. It makes the exercise a lot easier than doing it on the floor. With this mini band work, make sure you keep your knees out and your feet spread for the entirety of the movements. You do not want your knees buckling in here, keep them out. This is the core finisher that's quite challenging that I like to do. It's 10 reps on each of these movements, one after another, no rest, give that a go, it's really hard. Okay guys, what is the crack? It is 11.47 if you can see that. Focus, no, focus. 11.47 and I started this workout at eight o'clock. Now bear in mind, a couple of people came in at that time, was helping people out with a few things and I did a bit of video work at the start. But ultimately this workout today was 20 minutes speed work at the start, which I will go into a lot more detail soon. <sighs> and then legs, and that leg session was probably about two hours long. So now I am in desperate need of food. I've actually stopped taking sugar during my workouts because what I found is that the sugar does two things for me. It gets me really amped up, so if I take it in the evening, it, I find it difficult to sleep, but also it upsets my stomach and my digestive system. So I'm gonna try for a while to go off the sugar. I may go back on sugars during my workout if I get my workouts done early in the morning and away from bedtime. So right now, home, get a massive feed into me, and then I'm going for a kick. I've also got a bit of conditioning to do today as well, so the legs are gonna be 
in bits after today. That is the workout, that is the commentary. I hope you've enjoyed the commentary. If you like this style of country with a bit of music in the background, give the video a thumbs up. Next, you're going to hear a bit of a spiel from Michal Omorhurtik, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about an event that was on in the clubhouse recently. See you in the next clip. Oh, 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 oh. before I go any further, check this out from GA Fan 210 What an absolute gas, man. I'll take the 99 pace, but I'm not so sure about the 99 shot accuracy. <laughs> Go check out his page on Instagram, GAFan210. Legend. This gave me a right good laugh, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't think we have enough of it. I think it's a damn body up there. <laughs> Recently, in the, down in the clubhouse, we had a, there was a book launch. So Monlene had a book launch, and it was basically the last 60 years of Monlene GA. And it was a really, really nice event. Mihalo Merhurtig came down and gave a speech at the end. I'm going to roll a few clips of that. Now, I didn't record much because it was like, you know, it was the clubhouse. Everyone was there to just, uh, you know, for the night. There wasn't people out with cameras. There was actually a comment passed afterwards that uh, someone said it was a shame that they didn't actually record it professionally. Um, I used my phone for a few parts of it, but as you can see where I'm standing, like the place was absolutely wedged. Thank you all very, very much for all the hard work you've done for the last year and a half. Unfortunately, we have sold our books. When you give us your name, either the Caroline or I, it's a very, very proud night for all the Indian clubs and I would like everyone to just say thank you very much to me all at first. So it was just a really good night and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on a book. I've got two ordered. They're coming in the next few weeks. They sold out straight away. But I want to say well done to everyone who was involved. Well done to Caroline. The club is absolutely booming down there. There's new things going up every week. It was a great night by all accounts. I stayed for all the speeches. I suppose when we won county two years ago, there was a really nice kind of section on that year because the miners also won that year. So there was there was two teams that won county that year, and the intermediate sorry, the intermediate herders also won that year. So we'd we'd uh, we'd three cups at the end of the year. So it was like a really big year, and that was the 60th anniversary. So it's just great to be able to provide that to a club. Like there's nothing like winning. I mean, I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? Oh, snap. Like, just the joy it brings everyone in the club is just amazing. And I'd love if every club had that feeling because there's so many players I meet and they just, they're, they're, they want to win. They actually want to win so bad and they get so close and they just don't, they, like, my housemate just lost another final today and I don't, they've never, like, won. They've been in so many finals, this is like final number 10 and they've lost them all. So like that feeling of winning is great and it really kind of makes all the effort you put in worthwhile. We gotta get better, we gotta go win county. Okay, so that's that, that's that part. And uh, what's the last part? Oh yeah, and it is Christmas, so I'm gonna leave you with a few Christmas clips where we put up our decorations recently. <laughs> Teddy doesn't want to be in it because he wants to be blurred out. I may have to blur out one of the lads. <laughs> I'll see you in the next vlog. Slan! We're so cool. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh! We go start from bottom itself. I'd say wrap them first. Looking well, boys. Looking well. Tunes. <laughs> Yurt, slan.